Hey, I'm Tracy Burns with FoxNews.com. Honored to be here with Dr. Ruth Westheimer, especially this Valentine's Day. A lot of people talking about being with someone, single people. It's a rough holiday, I think, Dr. Ruth. Um, it, it's coincidence, I suppose, that Fifty Shades of Grey came out just in time. Or maybe it's not. I don't I know. See. Now, here's Fifty Shades of Grey. Why are we I haven't. I haven't seen the film Me yet. Neither. But I read the book. Because you God did. forbid that somebody would say, Dr. Ruth, have you read the book? Right. What am I going to say? No. So, not required reading. Not required literature. However, it proves the point that I have been making all of these years. Women do get aroused by sexually explicit material and readings. Lady Chavelle's lover, many years ago. Fear of flying, many years ago. So, in that book, Fifty Shades of Grey, Pa there are some passages that you will not like, turn the page. It's not required reading. I haven't seen the film, but it makes the point that I've been making. It's all right for women, and they don't have to talk about it, to be sexually aroused. Everybody is very busy. Take some time off, read some literature, go to a movie, do something that puts your mind into that frame of doing something uh, for your sexual life because boredom in the bedroom is the worst thing that can happen to a couple. Now we're talking about a couple that's together for many years. If they'd always do sex the same position, it becomes boring. So what that shows is do something different. If there are passages in there that you don't like, turn the page. But do you think there's a, a, a slight there's a little bit of a male dominance thing in that book, from my understanding. I didn't read it or watch it. Mm -hmm. the, there's something we said about it's okay. Women actually like it when men take charge, and vice versa. What what it shows? Little role playing. What it shows is first of all, the woman in the book yes is 18, so she's not underage. If she were underage, I wouldn't even talk about it. Oh, I didn't realize but she was so young. She was 18. She was out of college, but she was uh, of age. And there is something to that fantasy of somebody uh, overpowering you. There's something in that fantasy in our culture of this man who has a plane, who has a car, mm -hmm. who has power. And I would like, when we can talk about it, which I do in my lectures, we can talk about that, that now, look at you, Tracy, now we are going to have men looking up at women who are in positions of power. We also see a change in our society. More women take younger men, and people don't make a fuss over it anymore. They used to say, aha, she must have money. Not true. They now can say that older women might have some experience. They, they might oh, be so they're teaching them. Right. Because I don't think they know the geography, young men. I think they all need a lesson from you sometimes. I think I so think too. they get to it. I wouldn't go near a man who was under 40. They don't you, know what to do. Oh, I like to hear that. They don't know, I'm going to selfish. quote you all over. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're very selfish. So, so. But, but this is showing us and telling us that we have to get out of the box. Yeah. But you see, that's why I do something like Clorox, for example. But what does Clorox have to do? with my teaching about sex. But I can say, look, here is something that they call foreplay for your laundry. It makes me laugh. It makes me people, laugh too. <laughs> people, are, yeah, people are going to remember that. And it does something that you and I just discussed. There is more of an openness, mm -hmm. but I still need to have the knowledge about sex, not only what to do, but also about sexually transmitted diseases. Yes. Not just to go with somebody, I don't want to see a rise in AIDS or other sexually transmitted diseases. So that's why I'm saying, look at something like this. If it's in your apartment, sit on the washing machine. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Out in your apartment, not in the laundry But people room. should not be afraid to experiment with their partners. Right. right. You are wonderful. Thank you. What an honor. Thank you, Tracy. Dr. Ruth, make sure you check her out, uh, drruth.com, at Ask Dr. Ruth on Twitter. Of course, she, uh, she's everywhere lecturing. And 35 books, 36 on its way. Thank you. I'm Tracy Burns. Thanks for watching.